Yes. Everybody's favorite kid versus uh, this weird pale lady. Also, this uh, Tony Pajamas actually beat uh, Josh. Oh, TPJ beat. Joshathan? Okay. Not surprised. I mean, Tony Pajamas is like a really solid NES player since like uh, Smash 4 from New England. With, with, uh, with Inkling. With Inkling? I okay. think they're just both going secondaries though. Okay. Uh, Palu versus Inkling. You know, I respect the hustle, bro. I respect the hustle. It's also like if you see Whippet Trainer, do you really want to go Inkling against that? Yeah. Like, really? <laughs> Alright, good use of the soccer ball to cover the, uh, the up from this roll. He's got to find a little bit of damage. Uh, there's one thing that Weepa Trainer is really good at is putting out damage. However, Ness has some really good hitboxes that are really tough to to, uh, to avoid successfully, especially with a character like Weepa Trainer, where she doesn't have a lot of big hitboxes. You have to be very precise with what you're doing. Right, good punish in the back air. Yeah, Visceral's definitely like able to slow things down and take the first mm. dog, taking that big, deep breath and then just kicking him off the side. Very Let's nice. Get that rar boy. That rar back air. Okay. Oh, did the <laughs> thing that John talks about when like getting hit by the the yo-yo off the ledge, where she like kind of barely drops or something? Mm -hmm. It's something that numbers labs. Um, a very long time ago that he was telling me about was specifically that Ness's yo-yo is guaranteed to not hit the trainer as long as she approaches the yo-yo The anti-Ness edgeguard technology. Of All course, right. that doesn't stop her from getting murdered at like 100. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, Tony Pajamas <laughs> evening up the stocks here with a back throw, but could it be a little bit too late? Uh, let's see how much damage he's able to tack onto this stock. It was 100 on his side. And I, I mean, he's, he's doing pretty good, and that's a big absorption. 30 uh, damage. Yeah, that's that's going to do wonders. That's yeah. a lot of damage. All right, super evening it up now. These guys are really just trading. Go? I like it. You know, they're really scrapping. I think, like, they're both, uh, they're both just trying to figure each other out right now, which I really appreciate that. Because it's, like, it's a, such an underrated moment in a match is when both the players are starting to get into like their comfort zone they're like okay i kind of understand what you're going for and i'm just going to start messing around and start kind of just uh just kind of start from this and hope that i kind of win the interaction Ooh, Ooh interesting oh okay this could it's be a re-grab that's a re-grab but no punish from a uh, visceral he wasn't willing to risk uh doing another down tilt yeah, he did, because, he did uh, like a super late down tilt. I think he just like messed up the timing because Wi-Fi or just too scared to not get yeah. hit by PK Thunder 2. PK Fire to PK Fire is not a true combo, but it really depends on how close you are to Ness slash which part of your body it hits. Yeah. Uh, since it does contact flame. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. All right, good stuff from Tony. Can't absorb the ball. Yeah, even though Visceral kind of started off really strong. Well, Tony started off pretty strong, and then Visceral, like, adapted pretty darn quickly. You can tell that, like, the mix has been a little bit endless here. Uh, and I really just like how they're just switching up on each other. They've been, like, really taking turns and changing gameplay and, like, just showing, like, different facets of their gameplay. I want to see better Smash DI from Visceral, honestly. That's, like, the one thing that is... Uh... But he's been kind of missing when it comes to big at fire, and it's one of the reasons he's been taking so much damage. And now he's out of... Yeah, that's a very risky position to, to be next to, to Ness. It's really hard to approach him when you're that far behind. Yeah. Because you're not... He doesn't have that kind of fear that, uh, that you have when you're trying to approach him like that. It's like when Ness just like starts floating around. It's like, bro, just just watch him. Just just let him put on his show. You'll, he'll be fine. Like... Just uh, let him do his thing, and then you can return to neutral. But when he's like flo floating and stuff, like just let him let him do his thing. All right, don't challenge it. He he wants you to challenge it because he knows he's gonna float around like a crazy little space kid. Ready? All right, so we have uh, Mr. E Celebrity John Numbers in the chat talking about Weepa Trainer and how the match apparently is terrible. This is really the turning point right here. This is Visceral's best chance to kind of take the stock. Uh, relatively early and solidify his lead, but instead Tony Pajamas kind of tripped around him and was able to solidify his lead. Alright, pretty good, uh, pretty good wave landing. 
for Visceral to get a, a bit of early damage, unfortunately getting caught out. Nice. Great start for Visceral, just like in the last one. So maybe you can learn uh, from a few extensions. Nice. Oh man, this one's doing pretty good this time. Sorry, I have to TO stuff going on, so I have to step away for a hot second. Turned pretty good forward throw, but not quite a kill percent. Tony's out of an air dodge, so he has to commit to this. And this one's not able to punish before he could get back on the stage. I want to see better Smash DI, man. If you're getting hit by PK Thunder, you gotta get the heck out of there. All right. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. Nice. Oh, if he's gonna keep doing it like that, then like, if he knows that he's gonna spam it, he can then use that, he then his back pocket to do get up attack. Oh, very good grab from Visceral and Ness is back on the stage. You know, Tony's just making it as annoying as possible to kill, but he's finally back on. Good job. Down air. That's how you solidify a lead. Okay. You gotta send a message, but you can't. Uh, you can't force your approach too much either. This world doing a good job, getting some good damage. Seventy percent. But unfortunately, misreading the air dodge, and I guess. Looking to get back. Tony Pajamas is like, yeah, Yo Yo isn't working. I should try to rack up as much damage as possible. The best thing you could really hope for from Yo Yo, if Troll is properly uh, spacing himself, is to get like 1% and a reset, which is worth something. It's not worth a lot, especially not when nice. you're down by this much. Oh my god. Really good. <laughs> that was so yeah. close. Oh my god, he went. Bro, he got. Ah, uh, the Falcon spike. I think he got kind of spooked by. Um, the like just dodging the ball so that he then couldn't react to the runoff dare i think yeah I, I, it's really important paying attention because i think this you... scared him and he went oh god and then it was just it was too much yeah feeling when you're like when you're about to die like at any second and you're like i need to like just get back as quickly as possible and you just completely lose focus of your what your opponent's doing Mm, I love that down air. That was a good Huh. I wanted to ask you how you load music on OBS. Like YouTube playlist specifically. Not the, you mean on Fubar? I, I mean, I would assume that if that's what you're using for, for yeah. OBS, yeah. I mean, it's not a source on OBS. Three, two, okay, I don't know what it is. One, it's just audio go. through the mixer. Oh, okay. He's using a separate knack for that then? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Good to know. Thanks. Oh, Alright, we have a uh, visceral. I mean, Tony completely changing his character. It was very interesting. That first match was kind of uh, close. But I don't feel like the second was that, like, brave, honestly. The biggest issues were the fact that uh, Tony ended up losing the lead super early and he wasn't able to play his patience. Probably should have. But now he's completely switched, uh, completely switching his rhythm to Inkling. It's like, this character's not bad, not by any stretch of the imagination, but they have a tough time killing. And when you're playing basically dodgeball, like freaking song, against a character that can just become like, can use a Kyle Ken times 0.1, uh, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I really agree with the decision, but what can you do? Yeah. 
Also the fact that like uh, we the trainer does retreat off stage like, very easily. And if you don't like Inkling doesn't have a super strong spike. So like the Oh my god, he's already on his last stock. I forgot to yeah, tweet no, the match, so I like missed this. Yeah, no, it's not a not a great situation for Tony. This is not a great counter pick. Uh, I mean, it happens honestly, where you're like, I'm gonna try my other character because I don't have confidence, even Ugh. though I won game one. And it's not necessarily like I was saying that uh, I don't feel like this role necessarily adapted from the first game. It's just that Tony got kind of shook after the first stock was lost. It was like, the margin. But yeah, there we go. You have to jump out a roller. Tony, the only thing Tony could have done there was wait a little bit longer to jump out. But that can also be risky depending on what the Weaver Trainer does. And like that, this row moves on to winner's court, winner's semis. It's going to fight the winner of Liam.m versus Amaryllis. Amaryllis. I think Amaryllis did like really well at uh, Fusion this past Monday. Amaryllis beat Dijon Mark. I'm not. Yeah, beat Dijon Mark, who was the Kirby that got like, I think, fourth last week. Oh, never mind. And Sailor Jess beat <laughs> Big Boy Cupcakes. And Liam.m beat Sailor Jess. Okay. In the round previous. Also, Black Mamba, check in. Alright, so our stream queue is looking pretty solidified. 